on my first message is to my sister, Vivian. I would love for you two to be here, be uh, sharing Christmas with us. We have lots of memories doing that together. However, there's COVID, but I know Viv wouldn't come anyway because we have snow, lots of snow. Our uh, Christmas uh, is definitely a white Christmas. I also would love to be with my church family, with um, the residents and the the heroes that are working to care take care of them in uh, our Randall residence communities. What an ordeal they're going through, but what wonderful people who are making it work and work well. So there's uh, a lot of people I'd just like to say, I love you, Merry Christmas. I say treasure your memories and trust God's promises, and that's what gets me through. As far as an activity that gives me meaning and purpose, um, I have a phrase, uh, look for things that give you joy, and I really try to practice that every day, just to look for things that bring me joy, and that helps. Um, I also um, do Christmas cards, the decorating that I've done, um, but probably the main thing that I enjoyed this Christmas was that we adopted two families who went through an organization in, um, in our area, we bought Christmas presents for the kids. We bought practical things. Um, they had listed things like shampoo and cream rinse on their um, things that they wanted. And we then were able to drive to their homes and deliver these gifts. And that really was um, an amazing thing to get to do. It was rewarding. Looking for joy. That gets me through. And my joy today is getting to speak with you. Merry Christmas from Melbourne, Australia. To me, Christmas is a time where my immediate and extended family come together to celebrate around a big meal and having lots of fun together. My hobby is baking cookies and sharing with my neighbors and friends. This year, due to COVID-19, I'm not able to be with my family in Indonesia to celebrate Christmas, but that doesn't stop me from celebrating with them in my prayer and thoughts. Before I go, I'd love to wish my son Ison and his family very Merry Christmas. I miss you and love you guys heaps. And also to my both parents and my three brothers and their family, Merry Christmas. And I also miss you guys and love you guys heaps. May God continue to keep us safe through His grace until such time we're able to meet again. God bless. Hi there. My name's Teresa Johnson, and uh, I have been asked by Steve Scott to share a little bit about um, what keeps meaning this Christmas for me and my husband. Uh, we've been, we're in COVID and we can't do anything. We can't go out and see our friends. We don't go to restaurants. We barely go shopping. We don't go to the pool. We don't can't get our exercise doing that kind of thing. So what keeps meaning in our life? Well, each other and our faith in God. We have a, a book called Jesus Always. And I got it from Costco, actually. It's a devotional, and we read out of that every day. And my daughter gave me a little Bible, which I love. It's very convenient. So we read Bible verses from that. And then also we're doing a few things like um, getting toys for Toys or Tots and putting them in barrels at different strategic places. Our life group at the church uh, gives out food. So we have a food bag that we fill up and they we're taking it to people in the community. We've had fires in our community. We had one uh, a couple months ago, and people 2,700 people lost their houses. Uh, we were three miles from the fire, but we didn't burn down, and we're so thankful for that. Also, I went out and bought a bunch of uh, amaryllis. Amaryllis. So I'm going to, uh, with my grandson, maybe my son, going to take the write out cards and take them around the neighborhood. Put them on doorsteps if nobody's home. 
or just say hi. And hopefully that will give people some Christmas cheer. I hope you're all keeping your spirits up. We are. And uh, Merry Christmas. This Christmas, we will be unable to spend family time with our two girls due to the virus that is upon us. And while we may sit back and pine over this lost opportunity, I would much rather focus on the positive and to find the good side in all circumstances and I'm hoping that my girls can do the same thing and that instead of being sad and dejected for what these circumstances have caused that instead they will be able to stay positive look for the good in others think happy thoughts go outside and spend time in nature and find something that's that's beautiful and focus on that instead for the day will come where we can get together soon. And I just want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas, wherever you are. Hello, friends. This is Steve from Southern Illinois, as you know. I'm taping from inside the house today instead of broadcasting live outside because I want to share you a song and the keyboard doesn't travel well. Eight years ago, my daughter had just moved to New Zealand. <clears throat> It was our first Christmas apart, and we had talked, and she had expressed a sense of loneliness and separation and distance that she was feeling. That evening, I was outside as the sun was setting, and as the burning fire touched the horizon, I realized that the same sun that I was seeing was just rising in her sky. And these lyrics came to mind. You can't take them literally, but I hope you can hear the heart of the song. <clears throat> Piano is my forte, singing is not, so you will also have to fill in the gaps there. As evening comes and darkness falls, the setting sun in glory calls. Oh, rise my heart and join its flight on bending rays. We'll spend the night. No desert sands, no stormy seas, no mountains tall, no jungle trees, no tangled roads, no urban sprawl can stop the light that carries me when morning comes our journey's done when light meets light our hearts are one 
our fingers stretch across the miles and in the sun I see your smile so here I am and there you are but nothing stands between our hearts the earth beneath the sky above an ending light a sea of love no desert sands no stormy seas no mountains tall no jungle trees no tangled roads no urban sprawl can stop the light that carries me the morning comes our journey's done when light meets light our hearts are one our fingers stretch across the miles and in the sun i see your smile and in the sun i see your smile as evening comes and darkness falls the setting sun in glory COVID has introduced constraints in our lives that we never expected. Constraints that our grandparents would have considered normal. It's all a matter of perspective. And so we have a choice to make every day in our lives of what perspective we are going to adopt? What attitude? What's your choice? It makes a world of difference in how your life occurs. Be safe, my friends. Be prudent. But above all, keep looking up. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year.